Econ John here. In this video, we're going to talk about the translog production function. Let's go. What is the translog production function? The translog production function is an approximation of the CES production function that takes the following form, where beta naught is our efficiency parameter, beta i is our output elasticity, and gamma ij is our measure of complementariness between our inputs xi and xj. So just a quick point over here, xi and xj are not different inputs. They're just the same input entering twice, and we're just trying to show all the different combinations going on here. A unique feature of this production function is that its marginal product is determined by the, the inputs of xj. So this is illustrated by the partial derivative of our log y with respect to log xi, which is equal to beta i, which is our output elasticity, plus the summation of gamma ij times log j, right? Which is just all of the same inputs going on over there. So a unique thing about this, as you can see, is that if we go and raise this to the power of E, we can pull out a generalized Cobb-Douglas production function. So we can say that our marginal products are determined by a separate process over here. That's the unique result. So econometrically, we can estimate the translog production function using OLS. One would suspect an issue of multicollinearity given the terms uh, one half times gamma ij log xi xj, right? Where again, we're just trying to go and find all the combinations of them where the i's go from one to n because log xi xj is equal to log xj xi, right? And by Young's theorem, gamma ij is equal to gamma ji, right? We're basically having the same variable enter twice, which is problematic. However, due to the nature of our approximation, this is solved by inclusion of a constant one half. This is a uh, pretty powerful term over here, right here because we just eliminate an estimation problem with one number, right? A one half number. If we are estimating a production system, right? A firm that produces multiple products, we should use the Sure framework and employ the use of GLS as an estimation method. If uh, gamma ij is equal to zero, then our model simplifies this to a log log regression and in turn uh, a general Cobb Douglas form. If we find that gamma ij is not equal to zero, then we are dealing with a situation where our underlying production function could be CES. So that is the translog production function. I hope this video helps. Take care.